Ilidi ya tulikalishwa kwa kitanda. Na rumi kafungwa mlango. Na nikaambiwa, Sandra, you're my wife. I love you, but you're going to be the two of you in this house. And I'm going to date the two of you. Sasa kaniambia, because now nona nyi watu mkwa na rivals, uwa na nitaka wewe uko kwa nyumba 24-7 and she's not comfortable kukuja wu kiwa. Your choosing days between Monday and Sunday will be coming to the house. So that time I had already started to pack my things one by one. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Get Naked with Lydia. I'm your host Lydia Wanjuru and if you haven't by now, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that we can be able to bring you more episodes like this. And before we begin today's conversation, let me just plug you in on our shoot location today. This is at Edmore Suits. It's a one-bedroom apartment located in Westlands. It can host up to two people per time. You can it, uh, you can hire it as an Airbnb or you can co-rent the space. Since it's fully furnished and fully serviced, they also have other apartments in different areas of Nairobi like Ileleshua, Riverside, Lavington, every uh, posh place you think about so you just have to contact them on the uh through the contact on the screen or the email on the screen for all uh, any other apartment from studio apartment up to four bedrooms apartment and because i don't want to talk a lot i want to introduce our guest for today as potato suggests we are going to hold a very candid conversations about relationships i hope from this episode you can learn something and if you're also in a similar situation i hope Episode uh, shows you that you can start over again. Things happen, but what moves on is life. So without saying much, let me welcome and introduce our guest today. Hi. Hi, Lydia. How are you? I'm very fine, thank you. Please introduce yourself, your names, and if well, maybe someone can find you on social media, what you do, if they can be able to support you. Mm -hmm. So my name is Sandra. Mm -hmm. uh, I am a paramedic, I'm also a makeup artist and also a businesswoman. Uh, my Instagram, Facebook, uh, TikTok is Sandy Touches on all platforms. That's the name people know me for. Yes, and I'm happy to be here. And the makeup is 4K. Well, Thank you. How will you know is a makeup artist? Mm -hmm. I should put some more thought on it. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for coming. Thank you, thank you for gracing us with your presence. Auntie. And before we get into the main topic of today, mm -hmm. maybe you can uh, give us a brief history of your background. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm born in a family of two. Mm -hmm. We are two girls. Um, I was born in Nairobi. My mom is from Nairobi too. I was from Nairobi. <laughs> <laughs> She's sorry, but she's yeah, sorry. so <laughs> you're forgiven. <laughs> so we are from Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Basically, I've grown here. I went to school in Westlands, Visa Oshwal Academy, and um, went to school in Kikuyu. So my whole life has just been around Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. my whole life has just been around Nairobi. Um, yeah, and I'm happy to have been here. Seen mm -hmm. a lot, eh, been learned a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to so much. That is really nice. Yes. So are you the firstborn or the last born? Yes. Since you're two? We're just two of us. I'm the firstborn. My younger sister is six years. Eh. Yes. Eh, eh. <laughs> I don't feel like Bado Nikona sister. I feel like she's now my baby. She's oh, mm, it's more of a baby more than, than a baby than eh. Because I wish if if I could get time, I was still very young. Those sibling rivals and Nini would really make life better. But Saizi, Nico's strict quirky, and I feel like I'm more of a parent. So I don't enjoy more of the sibling. She enjoys more of the parent side of me. Love you, Oprah. Aww. Mm. So you're just mentioning your sister and your mom. Who is the dad? The dad. Mm. Um, unfortunately, um, I grew up without my dad. Mm. Like the whole of my life. I knew my dad when I was very old, when I was still, uh, I think I was in high school. And I've grown up with mom the whole time. And my life revolved around my mom. Mom chat school, bus. so I didn't know much about my dad's side. But I'm glad that I came to meet him. Mm, to meet him, yeah. Is there a relationship? 
between <sighs> that and that? Not really a good one, I wouldn't say. But we talk once mm. in months. Mm. Mm. Then no, I... without even maybe talking much, I'm mm. just going to keep quiet because <laughs> people in the comment section keep shouting at me, they talk too much. Let the guests talk. Mm-hmm. So I'm just keeping quiet and you take us to the story mm. and please feel free. And this is a judgment free okay. YouTube channel. channel. We don't judge here. We are here to build and focusing on moving on. on to... So feel comfortable. Take us through the story. To my story. Mm-hmm. So my story is one of a kind. It involves love, betrayal, tears. There were joyful moments, I wouldn't deny. But all in all, I thank God that I had to go through that. I don't take it as a moment where I'm like, I regret. Mm-hmm. To some point, I do. But to some point... I'm like, take I take the lessons mm-hmm. home. And I did take them the hard way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, I told you I went to school in high school. So in Kikuyu, after high school, uh, we did have really a good relationship with my mom. Mm-hmm. You know, that teenage life food and stuff. So I decided uh, I'll start doing my own things, you know. Because I felt at that time, like, my mom was too harsh on me. Like, the things I want to do, she doesn't want me to do them. And I took what I Vizuri sana. So in the process, I got someone. And uh, it was not more of dating. We were more of friends who, because he was like a father figure. He was just a family friend. But of a much age than my mom. Mm-hmm. So I think he took advantage of my naivety and stuff. And... Uh, it really spoils the relationship between my mom. She made me feel like my mom is too harsh on me and she should not be doing what she's doing. Like, I feel like I'm going to go and stuff. And for like two years, I was, we, we were not in good terms with my mom because of the guy. Mm-hmm. I felt like he was doing it right. Like, I knew where I was going and I knew who I was Because my mom was seriously lazy because my mom was going to do it. So... Mm. After that, we I came to realize that that guy was wasting my time, and by that time I had already moved out of home. Mm. I had already moved out of home, so I was find a job. By eighteen, I was already out wow. and living on my own. Mm. So, and I met love, kind of dating life, nini, nini. So there's this common friend of mine. Uh, we, I had a friend. Who knew now the guy I was going to date? So like we met and he introduced me to him. And at first I was when I met him, I didn't know we were going to date. I knew we were just going to be friends, like common friends, all like when they're out, pamoja, nini, nini. So I think the guy was falling for me and he didn't tell me on the first day. And I remember it was just like a time like this. <laughs> it was on January, because I think it was like 10 days to my birthday. My birthday is coming up. In seven days. Happy early birthday. Yes, thank January you. <laughs> That's what I have. <laughs> anyway, we must do our best. We must. Eh? Yeah, so uh, the guy said, mm, What are you up to this weekend? I told him it's my birthday. So, uh, anything you guys will do for me, I'll appreciate. So the guy took the chance and uh, asked me what I needed. And you know, Luo, man. Mataka nini? All those names. Yeah, and I was like, eh, ni matoka relationship ingine. And this one, I'm being what I want. So I gave him, I told him all that I needed for the birthday and stuff. He sent the cash and bought me clothes for that day. And even planned a birthday for me. So I think that is how to learn to date. Mm-hmm. And uh, after my birthday, ile kwenda kwake on and off one to three days. Within two three weeks, to look at she moving. Hamoja. A girl was feeling so nice. Mm, yeah? That would be nice. Mm, we moved in, and um, life was okay. Mm-hmm. Four months, five months, we were still fine. 
So I think that time I was trying to rebuild the relationship I lost with my mom. And I went to her and took her again, come and hey, this is what was happening. And now we were best of friends. And I just told him, me, I'm just seeing this person, but I didn't tell her we've moved in. So mama na jua tu niko na mtu but I have not niko tu she knew I used to stay alone and I used to work on my own. Mm -hmm. So to my date four five months the guy didn't tell me he has a kid or something. I'm a ease of to zote. Eh mother we can't at that point. He started changing and I could home late. He used to be the best man I won't lie. Mm -hmm. Providence, when he was there, he was paying all the bills, food. As in, I couldn't to the course, and I won't lie. Mm -hmm. And that's the part I said. Uh, I there were good times and there were sad times mm -hmm. in the relationship. So um, there we are. Ni mejua about the baby. How did you know about the baby? So it was my sister's birthday, mm -hmm. and uh, I left the house like a day before. I went to see my mom. And I was calling the guy and he was not picking up. Kitu can yambia. You know that instinct. Ebu enda home. Enda kwa nyumba. Nikatoka church and I went straight home. So kufika kwa nyumba. Nasikia TV na ongea. And uh, the man is in the house. And I knocked. Where we used to stay now together. Mm. So wakini fungulia. There's the baby. There's the lady. Na ye. Wameka. Then Ananza could you explain? And Lydia, Missy, do you come up with a name? Can you buy me a cosa? Simina, do I? He is doing everything for me. So he will explain and I'll, I'll listen. I'm very understanding. Me, I told you, I'm going to do this. So he said, Who are this? And then, yeah, uh, this is my baby mama. And I'm going to tell you about her. But not now. See, Miss Kushugulika. Eh, hey, kapita, I went to the room, I changed, but nilikuwa na filio anger. Mm. I changed, I took my handbag and charger and cash, na nikatoka. And I left them in the house. Why did you leave? I couldn't stand kuka apo. Plus, it was my sister's birthday. Mm. I wanted to rush back home. So in my head, naenda nikilifikiri anga tu, like, ninini naendelea, but I can't share with anyone. So uh, I went home, birthday kind of, yeah, I didn't even enjoy it because after birthday I came back. Kurudi ni kapata, they just left the house. And they left the beddings there for me to come and clean. Eh? Even used my towels and stuff. And uh, I didn't see that as a red flag. Stwendele, see you're sorry. How did you know they did something on the It's bed? my house. Mm -hmm. I left everything made. Najua pali ni meacha, najua please. Chali angwa ni azashika kitu na pahali ya hezi. You see, mm -hmm. both towels are hezi kwa chafu, na misiko. Mm -hmm. Unajua? Mm -hmm. One plus one, una add two. Mm -hmm. Aya, how comes a meshawa afternoon, mchana? I make sense. Na unashawa de mgini ya kyo kwa nyumba? Plus, when you meet a mother, na e, see that you are two They know each other. Anything can happen at any time. So, one plus one in a two. So, ni kena la kuvumilia. So, to me vumilia, me vumilia e, ananza kujalet, ananza kuchange, ananza kukuwa na hasira, out of nowhere. So, kumbi yo hasira na letewa the other side. Things are going on well. They are back to dating. Mm. So ile pressure mimi ndo sasa naka mzigo. Una get? Mm. Ngo naka sasa the mzigo. Eh. Nikaza nikitisha kitu it doesn't come. Akifanya makosa ana apologize very nicely. Ana apologize vizuri sana. I even remember sometime uh, he came and proposed to me after tumekwa sana. Ali propose na chalazma. Of which I told him Miss Belin things to do with public and stuff. He came and still proposed to me. And I was like, well, so this is how you're going to be apologizing. You keep doing the same things on and on and on. Mm -hmm. Now that's when I could notice. Mm -hmm. So, Nikiuliza, my friend, eh, 
is this right? Well, maybe it's very wrong. Why are you still there? Me na joa atu And he's providing so. See me he na endelea, na endelea kuka. And at this point, have you like met his family? Have you do you have like a relationship with them? His friends? I knew like most all of his friends. Mhm. Mm all uh I think like eighty percent of his friends. Ju, when uh we opened um after me, I met him, we had to I asked him to place mm -hmm. a kazi. I helped him to get somewhere else to work. Mm -hmm. And I told him that of Kwandiko, let's make a business plan of a job yako where you'll be working on your own. Mm -hmm. Ni ka project. Kaanza biashara. You he opened. Mm. He opened the business. Mm -hmm. Sikazi kaanza, I was even there as a secretary and stuff. Mm -hmm. So at some point, mm -hmm. Tikabidi nimetoka and I had to go back to my job. Nikatafta, another secretary to be there. Okay. So the business was now good. Kila kitu imendelea. I think, ndo anze kuletezo drama, zi tawo pesa ilikuwa imeanza ku. Kwa mm -hmm. e, kwa mingi. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Mi vile madharao lianza kukam, I still didn't lean. Badu lilikuwa. Nilika. So ni madharao gani Sandra? Because now kwanza, mm -hmm. hinted to us mm -hmm. that you, they got back together with baby mama. Mm -hmm. How did you know that? And how did, you, did he tell you they have gotten back together? And did you like encounter baby mama again like physically face to face? Maybe skuzinia, maybe anamua kaya na mtoto, na kutina mtoto kwa nyumba. Mm. Maybe take us through that, your relationship with mm. your baby mama. So, um, this mother raw party likuwa, when we were dating before, the lady was in the story. He used to come home on time. Tungetoka job pamoja, he even comes, pick, picks me, tunenda home. Mm. So like day in day out, tukona ye. Mm. Apart from time ya job too. Mm. From morning, tukona ye usiku, ni nini. So, uh, nikanza kunoti sana pula wei. Kifika time ya kunikujia, ananza kusema chukua uba. Kuja home. Wea ndanga nita kuja badaya. Na kuja late, later, melewa. So, time amekuja, wamekuwa na the lady. Wamekuwa out and stuff. So, the lady, uh, at that time, hakuwa nanijua. At that time. So, wanaenda out, ni nini. So, wakati sister, the lady aliona sijafanya anything after kuwa pata. That's why she grew the ile audacity ya kusema, mm -hmm. I can come back to the house again. Oh, she wanted to come and live with you. So, it became an issue. Nika kuja li, tukakalishwa chini sisi wote wa wili. Aka tuambia, uh, this is my baby mama, and she can, she's allowed to come to my house at any time. Hakuna pali, atakata, atakata azua. And uh, at first, me siko, siko ni kiwambaya. Baby mama kukama any time? Me siko ni kiwambaya that time. But now, it cannot even happen. As, as at now, eh, tushalan. At that time, me siko naona. So, alikuwa nasema mtu yeta kwa nalete wa mtoto na the lady. Anaona mtu hii. Tunashinda now, they go. Iyo si ishu, si watainda minta baki. Mm. So, me kwenye nisumbua. Mm. They'll come, I even cook for them. Yeah, but they used to love the baby sincerely. Mm. Mtu isi kuwa na isho na mtoto. Anakuja na wapikia, they eat, wana drop off home. So, ikanza kwa trend. On his birthday, I remember very well. Uh, I planned for a surprise for him. Kwenda kumuona job. So, simi, nimepeleka surprise. Mm -hmm. Kupeleka surprise, tuko wangapi? Kwa, kwa, work, kwa workplace yake. Mimi, baby mama. Mbuna munenda na ya? Sisa si... She's coming to surprise the boyfriend. O ya pia meplant ya dea Eh, sasa she, she had another cake. I had mine. <laughs> so tulipatana. No, oh, okay. Birthday si maendelea. Me, sasa, at, at, at that point, my friends were there and my... I have a step bro mm -hmm. who was there. So, uh, tukona step brother na my friends. So, mi nimeka nao kando. Kwa mm. zinileta keki, mi nika wachia. Nika mpea ya na mabuzi wa keni ni nini. Nika rudi kukaa na mabeshte zangu. So, tunapiga story. Na udema na niluza beshte yangu. Mbono unachairi una endelea. 
like mkoma demo wili hapa kwa nini tulete drama na mimi si mtu wa drama Lydia mm. utai nipata mimi naambia acha ajibambe it's his date his birthday tuache eh? i enjoy at 9 jioni tena some other lady comes with another cake now we are three of us in the story tuko mwenye mekuja huyu nine few months before to date nilipeleka ngo kwake nimfanye makeup nikaambiwa ni client sasa ndo nikakumbuka hiyo sura place niliona niliambiwa eh hey, there's a client of mine nataka nipeleke unifanye makeup i will pay for it si mimi najua ni kazi tu normal mimi takata kazi mbona boyfriend yako ndiye analipa client okay mhm pesa yangu si inakuja bora imeingia bora pesa yangu imeingia so mimi si tukaenda asubuhi tumetoka kwa nyumba we've prepared make a box for gari we drove to the place nimefika tumefika kwa stairs tukipanda ananiambia na tukifika huku usiende kusema wewe ni girlfriend yangu <laughs> usiende kusema wewe ni girlfriend yangu and then you say what mimi si, sisi si, si kuongea si mimi niliingia nikijua naenda kazi mbona mtu ana oh juulizi mbona anakuambia si juulizi i was deep in love your time so mm-hmm. i felt like ataki maybe client ajue we are working together as in me and my guy professional. professionalism mm-hmm. Ms. Chana, sip drink <laughs> sip your drink okay hey, because me bro <laughs> hey okay. it's good not to act lovey dovey in presence of our of clients, clients. Mm. but telling me not to not to say i wouldn't say that this is my brother but iki kuja kwa conversation sawa but, oh. but unajua hata ile umeenda na mtu wako somewhere hata akikuta Lydia for four times iko place hata saa kuche babe babe a mistake to me come on is taken there's no mistaking is professionalism Sandra Kazi Mhm uh-huh. so you the, 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 the familiar face you are here familiar face imekuja imekuja na keki So eh uh, keki imeletwa imekatwa watu wake wa job wamepewa na wameanza sasa sherehe He calls me and he asks me mbona unakambali na mimi Are you mad Ambia of course you know tunafanya nini hapa sisi wote and he's like ah, i will explain it but si you know her who ni client client uko na clients wengi wenye hukuja kwa job yako mbona this specific ndo amekuja unajua kuna one plus one i i make sense eh akanambia acha story mob acha kujamu so he took advantage akasema we go to somewhere we go for drinks au oh, sisi kwa gari tumeenda wapi eh place ya ku drink so kufika sasa hapo ndo i think my anger ililipuka cuz now ule dem anataka attention si ule mgeni the family face alienda so anataka attention the baby mama wants attention and akiona nikiongeleshwa dem ana jam ana over drink anaanza kuleta tantrum sasa So anasumbua ati anataka kutoka nje na huyu anashinda kimfuata and it was just crazy. Tunafuata na mfuata na sasa so he got mad. Like mbona mna behave hivi na tuko nje kwa club. Kambe me want to go home. Nikam had to tell my cousins now it's time to to go cuz ime kwa sasa kesi ingine hata siezi were involved alafu they are younger than me. Unajua? I told them it's time you guys go home. So si wakae na tukabaki mimi ye eh, and the and the lady tumeenda nyumbani nyumbani tena si ndio si we've gone home so we can solve the issue mbona unataka kutoka kwa bao unaacha watu na wewe mbona umekasirika na nawapenda nyinyi wote yeah. Lydia tulikalishwa kwa kitanda na rumi kafungwa mlango na nikaambiwa Sandra you my wife i love you but you're going to be the two of you in this house and i'm going to date the two of wapenzi nishatafutwa hadi mke mwenza eh to the hardest to digest the hardest information shai pewa it would not so sink him at that point i was high at that mm-hmm. time mm-hmm. but bado you could make sense 
sasa yeye umeamua kuniambia right in my eye na kasema no one is leaving me i am keeping the two of you ule ananiacha we are going down together say that me or me no one else can share can have you so sisi sisi wabili we are there seated listening to them heshimiwa and the other lady is not saying anything yes yeah, msi ameka sasa si yes she feels like me niko i'm here to stay because of the baby and she's also comfortable with very i think she felt so nice me niko intimidated na hiyo think she was feeling so nice because i don't imagine mtu anaweza taka hata best yake in such a situation and she's a lady just like me mm-hmm. think she felt so nice akwambia like, hey ulinipata unajua ama mimi niko na mtoto wake mbona unjamzalia na get and the reason why i did not want to give birth at that time is what i like zote niko na jambia to please hold on ka tu ngoja na get mm-hmm. So si tumekarishwa tumeongeleshwa ni nini? Guess what happens? <laughs> you should be able to guess. You should be able to guess Joe. in the bedroom. Wait, what happens in the bedroom? Yeah. Because me I know what happens between two people. <laughs> Now yeah, three of us. So ni nikatoka. Kaambia that's what you want. Bad and good. Nikatoka nikaenda sitting. I went uh, went and took my shower. Nikamaliza kuoga I came. They are still seated there. The lady pia katoka akaenda kushower. Mimi si nika dress up. I remember very well I think I was cycling at that time. Mm-hmm. And me when I'm cycling please stay away from me. That was our rule. Hata alikuwa anajua. And he used to respect that. So they went and showered together in the bathroom and came and they did their thing again in your presence yes and how are you reacting it was not easy it was not easy to just watch plus all the noises you know i just took my airpods and a sim i went to the sitting waited for them to finish the guy comes to the sitting room and be now i'm done with you Sandra, I'm done and now it's you. It's your turn because you're the one I love. I told him please, you pussy not. I went and slept. Came pia kalala. So tuko kwa kitanda watu wangapi? Tuko watatu. I remember I slept at the edge. I was very mad. Ile side ya kushuka bed. Lala mwisho kabisa with my airpods and my phone as kids I'm make a loud music because eh at this point I cannot watch anything I cannot I don't even to hear him speak or breathe nimeshachoka eh natamani asubuhi ifike so we slept the three of us in the morning uh, I think the lady was going to work or something akamka waka dress up and the guy went to drop him mm-hmm. okay, no. Come drop home. Sorry. So si mimi nikabaki kwa nyumba. Eh na sasa vitu zikaanza kuwa nikaanza kuona sasa it makes sense. So after that like I think like a few days or a week later I can it all them tena. Sasa kaniambia because now naona yeye watu mko na rivals, huyu ananitaka wewe uko kwa nyumba 24/7 and she's not comfortable kukuja wewe ukiwa you choosing days between monday and sunday will be coming to the house mind you tunaishi pamoja tunaishi pamoja so i have to choose which days are becoming and what days she will be coming so what did you choose i was there silent just watching the idiots talk he's like now because you you my wife here and we live with you you have four days this other lady has three days that makes one week so four days where we square corner is mine was due one mine was tuesday no man monday wednesday and uh, saturday and sunday monday wednesday saturday and sunday because <laughs> i knew nachukua siku zenye 
hizo hizo siku zenyewe ana nichagulia nitakuwa naenda home ama naenda church I used to be a church person at that time so na join me kwa Wednesday nitakuwa off nitakuwa naenda church hizo siku nyingine nitakuwa job nini still no na at least it has solved some issue tuache hizi vita vita as it makes sense then nilikuwa na console at the end of the day akona mtoto wake there's nothing i can can do so si tumechangulia masiku nikaambia hizi siku zenye hizi siku tatu utakuwa unaenda kwa mama kwenye viamba wana na anakuja unaenda kwa mama yako eh so si mimi nikitoka asubuhi i leave my house clean na jua leo siru leo sirudi nikikuja kesho the viombo zenye ule malipika mewacha nikiteta kumbe namwambia tell your lady 1 2 cuz mimi namwachianga vitu zikiwa safi mbona yana chazikia chako na get so nikitumana information haifiki inapelekwa information nyingine ati ule mwingine anateta mbona uko na siku nyingi na get mm-hmm. so kile natumana isemwe is not being said so ule dem mwingine akaanza kuwa na enemy na mimi so anafanya vitu intentional she will use my towel leave the bed bill up tengeneza i mean kikuje usiku i have to change again clean the house again una get i'm having like i'm doing two jobs i got to point me because i'm so i won't be going so that time i had already started to pack my things one by one natoka 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 tulikuwa mabaki zilikuwa kidogo so um nikaona hiki tu hai make sense na nikaanza ku share na wasi so at some point uh, nilipata job ya ku travel outside mm-hmm. uh, a friend of mine was doing a wedding outside the country so kabidi ni ni travel na nikajua nikimwambia mm-hmm. i won't go because the incidents is alikuwa nakujamelewa and i have maybe bread or makeups in the morning akisha ingia hiyo 3 na una photo okay makeup when the 4am atakufungia kwa nyumba and you won't go for that work nilishinda nikirudishia clients pesa kurudishia client pesa sio shida kama atatoa wapi makeup artist asubuhi hata ya juu hiyo like nimeingia 3 na unataka kutoka saa hizi unaenda eh yeah, he used to do that he used to lock the house niko hapo nafikiria sasa nimelia client amenipigia ameshavaa gown hajafanywa makeup na bidi nirudishe pesa na mbe pesa si shida ni pesa ngapi amekulipa nipe namba nitatuma and it ili nipotezea clients wengi i won't mm. i won't like ili nipotezea clients wengi sana so nikasema hii because i'm traveling see mwambie anything so uh, me and my girls tukamwa let's go for a night out before i go so i called him at around 8 si nimetoka job nimekuja nimempikia The house is clean I've done my makeup I've dressed up. Nipige, hey, hi baby. Uko wapi niko job? Watoka saa ngapi? Ati bado sijajua. Kwa nini? Kaambia want to go out kidogo. Mm, I want to go meet my girls. Mm-hmm. Uh, why are you going? Stay in the house, don't leave. If you leave, carry all the things and go. So you stick when when only them out. Na get. So nikachanga e anga yote imetoka wa nimetoka wapi and i told him i nika hang up kwanza nika ka kwanza chini nifikiri ni mimi nimeongeleshwa hivyo ama ni mtu mwingine mm. nikampigia tena kana mimi nini usijaribu kutoka mbona unanisumbua eh hiyo ni ni kama hiyo siku ndo Mungu alisema ananifresh na kili mm. nifikirie straight and i was like ili ni hit mimi naongeleshwa hivyo and i'm the prize I will go. Cause my friend she used to say apo juu ya apartment tuko na ka. So nilieka vitu zangu. Nikapeleka kwa best yangu. Best yangu akaniuliza, "Yani you dying for this man and he can't see how much you've been there for him." Mind you tukika hapo hiyo place we used to live. Mm-hmm. The, there was a time uh, he tried to commit suicide. Why? At because the baby mama has found another guy and anaona atamwacha. Still hiyo period yenye tulikuwa tumechaguliwa days. Mm. Apparently it fell on my day yenye nimetoka huko. So asubuhi nimeamka prepared I'm leaving. Remember siku siku na simu. 
my phone ilikuwa imearibika or something so in the morning kamwambia i am um, taking cash i want to go to town to buy a phone na kanaambia pia mimi job si tumeko home vizuri tu kila mtu atoka asubuhi so he left earlier than me after i metoka mapema kuni likos yake enda job time mean memanza kila kitu ya fresh and up nataka kutoka kitu 10 he tunapitana na yeye kwa gate ya hao mimi nikitoka na yeye anaingia na anaingia na bike na yeye haezi tembea ama bike kwa njia anakujanga na gari always hachangi gari yake so i'm like i i make sense na nilimuita hakunyitika he was so upset and kasema maybe mtu amekasirisha job maybe amekuja kuchukua kitu arudi job because job iko mbali na place unaishi kwa distance kidogo tu so ah nikasema he will sort achaende kwa nyumba maybe anapika kitu arudi that's why amekuja na bike si mimi nikaenda nikapiga tao mm. on my way to town place tu nilifika kwanza shop nilingia nikitaka kubai simu nikamwambia ebu utusaidie place nieke simu card kweka sim card na sipata miss call miss call miss call zile trade call niyo mm, namba mpya mm, mm. na shangaa hizi namba ni za I'm trying to look at si juu hizi namba kabisa but let me call back ku call back nikaambiwa eh hey, sasa Sandra Paul uko mwambie niko tao uko job ama nikamwambia hapana nimekuja ku buy simu cuz I didn't have a phone simu yangu ili haribika akaniambia please find your way size ufike hosi tuko hosi flani flani mtu wako tumepata apparently ame collapse kwa nyumba na ni wewe ulikuwa naye mwisho utuambie ni nini umemfanyi who is this calling you I think was a cousin cuz alikuwa na work sama na cousin yake mm. so uh, simi nikachukua simu mm. ile simu ndani ilipo watu ya kwanza ndo nibai hata ilikuwa inanibamba usa bora niko connected sasa hata huko hata kile kwa simu kile ifikiri eh cuz you know one thing if he would have died it would be a police case cuz nimekuwa na yeye home mimi nilimpikia the, the night before tumekuwa na yeye asubuhi na tumepitana na yeye like an hour ago then at me anything may happen here so nilishtuka and i freaked out nikuja na bike kutoka town hadi hosi nimefika hospitali na pata workmates wake mabeshti zake and the baby mama is in the scene the mama is in the scene and she's really crying hmm? Crying the boyfriend is not okay. Nikapita straight ho si ndani nikapela kwa sana onyo alimu admit. Nikaambiwa cuz you are the lady meet with her with the doc akueleze what is happening. So doc akanza he is intoxicated ni nini nini blah 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 this is what you are trying to do and save his life. He hiyo ho si wakashindikana kumsaidia. Ikabidi we've gone to another different hospital. Oh, mimi kwa ambulance. Kono what had he taken? He had taken too much of alcohol. Like I think like two liters of alcohol and some mm. that things that would cause it to be a police case. So I won't mention that. Okay. So uh, the hospital I'm saying they can't uh, work on him. They have to go to a bigger hospital. So ambulance ikaitwa mind you I'm a medic but hiyo siku nilishindwa kufanya anything. My freeze. Nimeisha. So mimi yuko ambulance mbele and with my other medic. Uh Nyuma is a guy and I think two of his friends and the cousin and the lady. How CC? Ngongro de nini tumefika hospital. We've admitted him. Next of kin ni nani the sisters are not around. Mm. So I had already met his family before. So I knew the sister, the in-laws and then he met his family later my burial na sister yake oh okay mm, hizo two months za kwanza after to meet okay so uh, i was told to look for the immediate family but at the moment i have to or do all the signings and nini so ni kambia doc because of the spouse eh, anything that is going to be needed me i'll just sign as far as you guys save his life So the first day tuko hapo na the friends work msoto wamejaa hosi but ameko ICU just only two people can go inside. So there I am me and the other lady insists to come inside. Saizo atasifikiri kama anaweza muuliza anything yet waingie. Akakuja kaingia then her friend alimkujia at some time. Ah uh, kitu jioni and she left. 
after that tuliona yeye dem si kwenye the guy aliamka because he was in a coma for i think four days four five days i see you ha respond kwa machine ha mkio so nilikuwa hapo naleta wa food nguo hosi na ugauko na change niko hapo tu so my mom used to come see me hosi and then she goes back home and let her food and end home his friends he has really so many celebrity friends so walikuwa nakuja kumuona they come at least when i keep company then they go so hosi na lala hapo kando yake ni muangalia tu so and i was thinking at that time bila bestang sasa na niuliza mbona unajisumbua na you were there for him and he can't see that so si mimi nikaamua kuenda for the back now to the party mimi nika nika chode bestangu vitu and i went for the party and before we continue we go into the party mm-hmm. now when he woke up did he say why he wa- he wanted to do that and what was the reason I think he gave everyone a different story. Oh, he gave everyone a different story. But me I knew where the problem was. Mimi nilikuwa najua. Is the baby mama moving on? Oh, and, uh, that is where the problem was. And did you, maybe did you and the baby mama try to talk that day when okay, so siku aliamka, the first movement he made, I was with him. Nikakimbia nikaita doc, nikamwambia doc he's made a movement. Maybe he's waking up. Mm. Can come and try see what is happening. So doka kakamu. Doka kakuja kaniambia he's okay akajaribu kumwamsha tukamuita tukamuita ndo aka respond. It took like 45 minutes to respond. We thought ajarudisha memory. So mm. we were trying to ask him names of people he know ni nini. Akaulizwa who is this? Kwa sababu kama sikwali amka tulikuwa mimi na sister in law na brother in law mm. na nas. Mm. Akaulizwa huyu ni nani akasema this is my wife na huyu ni sister yangu huyu ni bwana sister yangu then he called me akaniambia nitafutie mtoto wangu nataka kuona mtoto wangu mm-hmm. that's the first thing mtu ameuliza just give it to them mm. nikapigia baby mama akamwambia leta mtoto eh flani flani ameamka nataka kuona mtoto wake ana insist anataka mtoto wake na hata toka atatoka hapa kama mtoto ataletoa kozi yako anapenda story yako si hata angeshuka kwa hiyo bed na hiyo rob na atoke okay yani ni wale the devil they'll just mm. do anything so nikaongelea sababu mimi mimi mama kana bega mtu kabini sio tumane bas tu mtoto si eh sema kuji na tumane mtoto wake nikabembeleza msichana akakubali akaleta mtoto so the guy kuna mtu wake alifurahi nini wakaka na mtoto akapiga story Yote siku mtoto ameleta sasa si information ni shatembea fulani ameamka. Mm. Now all the girlfriends were assembling. The girlfriends. Mm. Apart from you and the baby mama. We were now like four five of us. Eh. Hey. <laughs> Muko bibi sana. So si ameamka. So acha naona vile my boys huenda out na squad yake. Mm. Au my boys wanajuanga madem wake wote. Mm. Of course. So dem aki aki vile aliamka chale mapigia dem anajua. Eh flani wako eh ameamka. Flani wako so madem wote waka assemble kesi. So mimi niko hapo nimeka na yeye I'm just seeing new faces of ladies coming in kwa word new faces new faces. Na unapenda that bombastic side eye. Niko. You know the audacity this guy has to tell me. Ati give me a few minutes with them I talk with them and then utarudi msana ule mzuri nimekana mtu i see you five days lidia nilikuwa natoka na waacha kwa word wonge wanaingia one by one wa kwanza kitoka wa pili demo ile wa makeup she was also in the scene kai wanaingia wanatoka secretary wa job yenu pole secretary ameingia hata anaingia peke yake eh hey, sasa si ni warembo wake That's when I came to know they had a thing. Cuz there's a TikTok that lady did na alifanya kwa bed yetu. Kwa bed. Guys. Like it was called FYP. So you know when I the common friends you guys have na mm. contact. Eh. Nikashanga ikitaenda. Kuangalia sura vizuri huyu si ni secretary surely. Hata huyu alileta huko siku yenye si yuko. Kwanza alileta one day ndio twende bari la sister yake. Now one plus one was adding up. 
umelewa mm. so kumaanisha this guy has been doing things ni leo alikuwa na feature before mm sasa mimi siko na sijua just kwa na red flag so ameamka nikaleta akaleta mtoto baby mama me come hapo ni nini ni. si baby mama amenda na mtoto we went to pay the bill to discharge mgonjwa mm. tuka clear tukaambiwa na you can go home we went home mimi ye, sister yake and the husband in law tukaenda tukampeleka hadi home nikapika hadi lunch tukakula na mgonjwa kamwekea hadi dawa kanambia nataka uji na lale si nikafanya hivyo after lilala akaamka akaniambia kitu sasa 5 pm akaniambia nataka uende kwenu I want my time mtoka hosi leo hata kutembea is an issue hauna hata nguvu so how will i leave you alone nambe don't worry i'll be fine misi bishani lidia nikaenda kwetu nikaenda home so it was think was on a saturday sasa but we discharge si tuliingia hosi monday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday akamka kutoka kwa makatolo icu akaenda ward saturday Mm. Saturday to 11 to come discharge. Mm. So si tumeenda home hiyo Saturday following day ni Sunday. Mm. Akanipigia Saturday usiku. Sasa si afanisha enda kwetu. Mm. Anambia kesho uamke hapa mapema 6 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> the going and coming ziko mingi. 6 a.m. Kupate wapi? Hapa. Nikasema anyway maybe he wanted ajifikirie or what he did to himself or stuff. Si mimi nikamwacha. I'm looking at it at a perspective ya yeah, ya yeah, he wanted to put his mind together so ni mpe space. Njoo kuna watu kaa na rethink na sema mbona nilikuwa nafanya? Mbona nilikuwa nafanya hivyo? Ah nikasema let me leave you. Nataka na mbeke sasa subiri urauke hapa. Mimi ni nani? I was there in the morning. Nimefika eh napata dewa melala kwa kiti. Baby mama amelala kwa kiti na duve ati the guy amelala kwa bedroom amejifunika na ukienda uliacha bibi mama huko mhm mm si alikuwa mgonjwa na nikamwacha amelala one plus one is nani anaweza kwa meraukia kwa kwa 6 asubuhi ati hata amekuja tu saa hizi eh kumbe dema alilala huko the whole night so imefika asubuhi vile alimbo anakuja akaambiwa hame alale kwa kiti na natoka. Nakatoka karala kwa kiti na kavaa nguo. Mimi si nikaingia niko hai umefaje? Nikasalimia dem. Mimi si kwa na zile ati pomtukana manini ever sijai. Ni hai poa. Salamu si imetosha. Ni nyingine tunaongozana. Mm. So akatukalisha chini akasema nao I was almost dying because of you guys. And now if you want me to die again either of you are niache sasa ama ni scared that we are mtu mwingine we are both dying with three of us we are all going to die nikamwambia mimi i'm okay mimi i'm not going anywhere kama ku mala na dem nikiwa hapa sikuenda this one i will stay dem pia kasema hata mimi nitakaa <laughs> na tukakalishwa reconciliation hadi mupendane tuka eh hey, tulihagiana hadi hakisandra sasa kama uchu movie zile za Nigeria <laughs> eh hey, we even had vizuri hadi tukapewa dot kambo wewe nyumba si yenu mmoja kufanya cleaning mwingine apike mtengeneze vitu zikue vitu vizuri mimi ni nani si mimi chef of the house hmm? mama kupika jikoni one two My mom is a very good chef. I think hapo ndo nitoa skills zangu za kupika. Nikaenda nika buy food. Nika buy food. Marembo akabaki akiosha viombo. Nikaenda nika buy food nikakuja. Si ameosha sasa mimi nipike. Nikipika yeye anaosha hao mimi nikitengeneza bedroom. Nikusaidia na mabibi niku. Kusaidia na kazi. <laughs> We finished. We each had turns to share with the man. Hakinyenye. Sit drink. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm even ashamed of myself. <laughs> yeah. 
ah, we had chances like fight wife ndo kwanza on everything nilitengeneza ile kitanda walilalia nje kan you bench it i remember nilikuwa ni bible sheets kama nne za white na duve ya white cause me and white eh nikatengeneza bed ni nini tukapika tukakula sawa shower time simi nimeenda kushawa ndugu si amekaa sitamfukuza si vivi reconciled tukaoga tukamaliza atoka mwingine akaitwa akaambia aende oge akaoga akamaliza tukaambia aren't you go to dress nicely we are going somewhere dig dia unajua niliambiwa nifanye ude makeup Because I have like my specific makeup box kwa nyumba na kuna ile ya job lakini nilifanya <laughs> nilifanya hiyo makeup na tukatoka tukaenda outing tukapelekwa dates tukapelekwa dates tukakula vizuri nje tukajibamba Sa, let, me, let me ask you Sandra before like no are you not talking like mbona unasema nini mkifanyana makeup tuko sawa eh hey, like kai utanifunza makeup eh hey, wow eh hey, tafsira hey, <laughs> hiyo singumu eh singumu tunabadi tunapiga story normal like vile tunaongea eh hey, kai sasa usiku tutapika ama wewe unataka tupeleke wapi tukaambia twende swimming kwa baadhi sisi ni costumes. Mhm. And event for swimming imagine. We went for swimming. Tukapigwa picha pamoja. Tuna swim huko nini nini sasa? Mimi am a good swimmer. Mimi na shadow at heart will run. Ninapenda kuchezea depend. The other lady had you swim and the guy ni watu wa shallow end. So this is giving them more time to spend together because Mimi sasa tuna nimes tembele yako ukutana na joke swim. So the guy gets mad at mbona naenda kuswim bali. Nisi swim karibu na wao. Sasa mkae bata tu kwa swimming kwa watu mbele ya watu. Basically the whole swimming pool akuko na watu. I think kuna watu tu wawili. So we're just like five of us in the whole pool. So mimi nimetoka nimekaa nje na sunburst. Anakuja mzee why you mad? Me I'm not mad. Me I'm enjoying swimming is my thing. Unajua? Na enjoy. So mimi siwezi kasha trend na nyinyi sema sawa we go somewhere else go and eat kama wewe wezi swim na sisi pamoja ule kiona nikuja kuongelesha sasa pia naanza sika ndakuwa pool and through nikasema twende home cause mimi siwezi ka huko niwafurahisha na mimi si bambiki tukatoka tukaenda tupende kwa date we eat we went back home tukaenda home tukakaa hadi masaa ya ingine then the lady akakuwa drop off kwa cause alikuwa na mkia job now sasa kwa gari kwa gari mnakaje sasa si mimi mimi spend dramas mimi nimekaa nyuma nimeka miguu kwa kiti. Alafu kuna mrembo ameka mbele. I no I think tukienda the lady ndo alika mbele. I mean ilikuwa nyuma. Tukirudi ito now the other way around. Mimi nilikuwa nimeka mbele yeye alikuwa ameka nyuma. Cuz yeye ndo alikuwa tunakuja tuki drop kwa njia. Na nyinyi wote mnaitwa babe. Mm. <laughs> so ukitwa babe unaitwa babe ukiangadhiwa ndio ujue ni wewe. Okay. Continue. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So mom drop home if you come drop home to mend at home. See, so life is back to normal. Si tushakula, tunakuja tuka watch movie and sleep life ikaendelea. Now and why is it coming in unataka kuenda bila kumwambia ile like unataka kwenda job ni mm. you have become fed up. Na mambo imeanza kuwa mzuri. So what at what point are you fed up? So, so I'm fed up because ule dem ule dem sasa ameanza kwa insult hata kwa social media. Omlikosana tena. So tulifika point tukakosana juu. Uh, time wameenda out na yeye na mimi niko home, anataka nipostie na yake caption weird. Unajua haina oh. ni attack. Nikimuuliza ananiambia ati niniache story mob. Mimi nikaenda place ni record video huyo demo anataka compete. Nikibewa hii anataka hiyo. Bewa hii anataka the same thing. Mm. Nakumbuka mm. sasa nikaanza kuona tuta imeanza kuwa kumadhara mingine mbaya then i nikaanza ku feel uh, i deserve better i deserve better this is not my thing so nikafilter nikafanya vitu zangu si lazima nimwambie 
Well, we fanya mambo yako. Now nikaanza ku detach. Mm. Niko lakini sikika nataka kuwa. Mind you bado leo time nilikuwa nikimit watu wananikatia stack history yao. Niko tu niko sasa ah. Kama all men are the same, unajua? Mm. Like nilipata hiyo mentality. So mimi si nimeenda party na madem. Mm-hmm. I didn't come back. Mm. Nilikuja sasa nika nika pack. Tulikuwa nimepack ni macho ule dem. Mm. So nilikuja nikachukua tu suitcase nikienda. To event it, you event it take like 2 hours. Sika imeenda sana. Cuz nilikuwa na fakuko by 3 eh due flight by 3 am. So si tumemaliza event kitu 10:30. Mimi nimekuja nimechukua suitcase. Sasa ndo aka notice simpigi simu tena akanicall. Siku bado wako out. Alikuwa anadhania ati sasa stand nataka kwa nyumba. Uko hapi? Ukuja place niko place fulani. Akamwambia mimi si yuko mimi. Si nilikwambia naenda. Nenda unaenda wapi? Akamza sasa kunileta juu kwa simu. Mm. Nika block. So the lady mwenye nilikuwa alikuwa my friend alikuwa anaka juu yetu. Alikuwa anajua ex yake. Ex mm. wake before before. Mm. I think kumse alikuwa tuna line ya madem kwa na dramas mm-hmm. kwa sababu alikuwa made before mm-hmm. think he was taking advantage cuz mimi nilikuwa mpoli so uh, nilikuwa akani call akanambia na una umepost uko kwa airport unaenda nambe me i'm flying out and nishaingia ndani siezi toka you can't even see me akanambia pana na kuja airport saa hizi na kama kukuona ni kitu 12 Kama uwezi niona cuz mimi nikishaingia ni hii uwezi niona cuz hata siko nataka kumuona nilikuwa najua ni mtu wa drama tu ni nini anaanza anaanza hizo maisha za timbona kama nakufungia kwa nyumba usiende kazi what will he do there but acha chukua passport yako uko sekwenda mm. so si mimi nikamwambia ah nishaenda watu tutaonana nikiru of which i knew nilikuwa nimesema i am done i won't come back ku nikirudi hata i won't come back to you mm. Uh, so aka akanitumia picha ya flowers na wine red roses zilikuwa zaka vizuri amezipigia picha kwa kiti ya gari and mind you unajua gari yetu mm amepiga picha hapo uh, wine na flowers akanitumia so kunitumia mimi si namwambia tabia yetu umeziweka cuz sasa mimi nishaenda hatuwezi onana tena so he got upset ni nini akatafuta ule ex so you time alikuwa ameza drama za baby mama baby mama alikuwa na date one of the workers wa job mm-hmm. yake mm-hmm. so alikuwa na feel eh ana lose baby mama pole pole so kwa sana baby mama anarudia ex anarudia ex anarudia hivyo so ule ex aliendewa thika road ndo alipewa maua yangu na wine akachukua snap kwa gari video na sinajua gari mm. aka post kwa status ule bestie ana kanambia ai na si ni gari yenu kamwambia ebu aka ebu nitumie video akanitumia kanambia eh nikamwambia ni gari yetu na in fact nikamfungulia di pictures kwa simu yangu kanambia si ndio hii maua nimetumiwa naona chats ameniambia amenunulia and stuff kanambia basi demu mwingine ameenda kupatiwa maua zimepata new owner pata new owner mhm So walienda out na dem mimi si nimeenda job. Mm. Nikio job ameshinda kini call. Call na call na call na call sasa by WhatsApp. Anipigia yeye uko aje when are you coming back mimi si kumwambia. So I came back and I didn't tell him the same same day nilikuja. Nilimwambia like a few days after. So siku nyingine nilimwambia nakuja ana insist na kukuja airport na kukuja airport. Naambia mimi nilishafika. Aki si nilibembelezwa kwa simu hizo ni kwa nicharudi home. So nimekaa na mama at least ni relax ile asira imekuwa nikigo through and the pain. Alini insist akaniingiza di box akaniambia kutoka church it think it was on a Sunday kutoka church. I want to meet you anywhere you choose you your mom and maybe auntie yako. I want to apologize to you in front of them. Mhm. Nikakaa nikafikiria hiyo story nikaona maybe he's changed. Anaona he's losing me. Si mimi nikaambia mama, mama akaniambia, are you sure you want us to go? The mom asked me. Kaambia mimi nataka twende. Tusikize kitu anataka kusema. Because the Jordan kiwa na nyinyi hazi fanye anything crazy. Mm. Si tukaenda, tukapelekwa tukakaa chicken inn on a Sunday afternoon. 
you know the audacity of this man hata nimekuja na sister yangu my mom haizi bai hata watu yote anything iko kula eh na mko chicken unajua ni niulizaje mbona umeleta watu wote bado sioni kama ni red flag mimi niko like okay the big thing here ni ku apologize sawa nikiingia kwa mfuko wangu nikabai watu food wakakula ako hapo akambia mama msuri for kuumiza msichana wako sijui nini he apologized ya ukweli right i sijui nini kufanya nione it was not from his heart sasa so, tumemaliza akaniambia kama tuonge kando nikaacha kina mama mika kaenda akaniambia eh acha kina mama ende home you go home and talk you go and talk it out if you want to go back home kwa mama utaenda miss nashida There's no talking. Si tumeacha saki na mama tumewa drop home, si mm. tukaenda. Mm. So after drop na mama tukaenda hadi kwake. We went to the house. He was really okay hata kukuwa na drama. Kaongea, kaniambia he won't hata rudia ni nini. Ame change. Na ametana na ule baby mama na mama de mwingine. Because I mentioned to him, nikamwambia ule mwenye ulipea flowers nilio. Niliona. So you still talk with your ex. Akajitetea. Ah si mimi nikarudi nikajua vitu zimeanza kuwa sawa. But deep down na feel I'm not at the right place. Mm. Si tukaendelea kukaa kama normal like a week ni nini eh kafika point aka ile thread ya ule dema tia na mkono usiku huyo ex wake anampigia tukiwa na yeye usiku. Nikajam nikaenda home tena. So after kwenda home that is when he tricked me. Nikaenda sa- kuna siku nikamwambia eh, nilikuwa nimeenda salon akanicall mchana kitu 11 na kauza uko wapi nikamwambia ni kwa salon wapi Kilimani nitumie pin kitu ikuniambia this guy can come to do something that's mm. when nakwambia he came to propose now mm. akakuja na akanipata salon akakuja akapropose jana flowers chocolates juu na nini na ring salon nzima ikasimama cuz someone wants to propose si mimi nikamwangalia tu sasa sitaki kumoibisha mbele ya watu i had to take the ring too mimi unaona mimi napenda pete mm-hmm. na kuanga nazo karibu vidole zote sasa so, siku akaniambia i told you siku nitakubaiya pete you will have to remove all the rings you have mm-hmm. nikamwekea mkono akazitoa zote akanibadilisha ile pete amenunua zongo akaziweka ndani ya hiyo box akaniambia wewe maliza kutengenezwa cuz i think i was doing my nails nilikuwa nimeanza kutengenezwa kucha my my feet zilikuwa kwa foot spa mm-hmm. na nashukwa mm-hmm. so nikamaliza <coughs> By the time na akaniambia nimeenda kwa gari ukimaliza wewe call me I'll come and pay the bill. So my plan was hata nikimaliza ni si mshoo mimi because already na feel na feel disrespected una just spend this story ya watu wengi kwa public alafu umekuja ku propose tena kwa salon na hiyo salon I had friends walikuwa na fanya kazi hapo. I felt so bad because ana just spend it. Uh, so your, your heart and mind is not set well. Exactly. So mimi si nimeanza mimi sitaki mtu anilipie salon. Nimemalizwa salon hivi naenda ku dress up. Si unajua salon tunatoanga di trousers mm-hmm. eh. So nimeenda ku dress up kurudi kutoka hivi amekuja amekaa ameenda amechange amevaa di suit. Galuku kijana amevaa kuja kakaa chini. Nikashanga sasa hapa si hizi mtoka at any point. Ndanisa bill yako ni how much ni nini? Kana nataka calculate kumwambia total yangu ni hii. He paid it in cash katoka kamuza mbona unafanya hizi zote na ndio umenikosea akiatia i'm just trying to be sorry unajua nakupenda but you're not giving me a chance kutoka u travel umekuwa na tumadhara si kuchukua hiyo kitu kama red flag bila naisema hivyo maybe ni anga sasa ilikuwa ina excess like, udima naona amepata do ameenda sasa eh nika mimi si nikajua tu ana apologize akaniambia want us to go to town Mm, you meet my brother in law ule msali alikuwa tunakaa na yeye si tukimwangalia mm. nikamwambia i have things i need to do in town mm. watende nimalize and then we can meet later on kitu 5 mm. saka kubali si tukaachana nikachukua uba mimi nikaenda tao yeye akaenda shughuli zake 5 mm. sharp he was on my phone uko uko nikamwambia niko town na kukujia kaenda tuka eh, tukaenda home tukaenda akanikujia town tukaingia tuka town tukakaa kwa kwa nini chicken in mm. na the in law mm-hmm. 
Nika kanizo nita kukula nika ambia pana. I just want coffee. Nisikize kitu ndaka kusema. Kapologize anko laki ya kanyangilesha 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 these things happen si ya kwanza unaona mimi nika feel like it's true mm-hmm. but at that time mimi nilikuwa decided i don't want to go back na nakumbuka ilikuwa na wednesday siku yenye mimi sifai kuwa naenda mm-hmm. siku ya ule de mm-hmm. mwingine mm-hmm. nikamwambia mimi amna tupinga kanambia hapana ule de mwingine nilikwambia tumeshakosana yeye akujangi mm-hmm. so mimi i want to be with you na pia ni siku yako ya church a church eh ilikuwa siku yangu ya church so nikamwambia but mimi nafaa kwenda church baadaye kanambia ina shida tu ndani kubaya sweater hapo chini na kumuka kina mbia kumuka kina mbia sweater imenti. Nuna wase huza imenti hizo mm-hmm. mahoods. Mm-hmm. Tukapata huda hapu wakanibaya. Njini likuwa na top tu wakanibaya huda. Kana mbia tuwende basi ni kudrop church. Si tumachana na inlo. Mm-hmm. Inlo si amenda. Mm-hmm. Si inlo ameacha vitu zikiwa sawa. Mm-hmm. Tumeso. Na, naenda kudropi wa church. Mm-hmm. Nimingia kwa gari. You know the guy drives uh, to around state house road. Akasimama. Kana mbia want us to get something here. Akabai pregnancy kit. Kanambia, hii, we will test at our free time. Kwa ni had a sample suspected you were pregnant? No. I have not. Sijai hata mwambia. I had not even suspected anything. So, ramini kamoza mbono unabai na misi na boli. Ati hapana, I need just to for by the way, hecha tuika itu kwa gari tuta, tuta test. Uh, Tuende ni drop charge. The guy ali drive gari straight from hapo till home. Kafika home akanembea leo utajua ujui. Twende upime if uko nayo well and good utaenda church ni nini. Anaongea tu sawa but ameshani threaten nasikia aa. Na fila koka kabaridi kameanza kuingia. Mm-hmm. Simi nikasema ah if kupima itamfanya feel poor twende kwa nyumba. So does he want a child or does not want he a child? He wants a child though. I think anifunge kama vile ameka the mama. Mm-hmm. Like wezi move on tena. Mm-hmm. So si tumeenda kwa nyumba akani akafunga mlango and he kept the keys in his pocket. Na kachukua keys zangu kwa bag yangu. So sina key ya kufungua mlango. Mm-hmm. Akanambia you're not leaving this house. Today it's either me or you. Uweze nizungushe huko nikikwa apologize siku mingi na you don't want to come back to, to my life. Akanambia aenda u test. Enda unlete ni test pregnancy. Kaingia kwa washroom akanambia usifunge mlango. Ukifunga you'll do something stupid and I don't want. Maliza nikiwa na kuona hivi. Kampatia. So wakanza kuninulia sauti. Nikajua he. Hapa vitu zime. Nika mpea, nika, sikuwa, nika chukua simu, nika ka. So wakati nimeka, kitu ika nikili, kanimbia. If anything can happen to you, make sure when notify watu. Nika, tu, nika nika one common message. I mean, trouble, nini nini. This is my mom's number. This is home. Nini nini. If anyone can reach out, I need an idea. Nikatumia message kwa like five people. Nikatumia nikatumia kwa OCS wa Kabete because he's my friend and the deputy and uh, my mom and her sister and one other cop from around Kile. So like they were all of them were mepata notification na nikazima simu as in notifications. Is okay lele si. Yeah. Hesa simi nimeka chini na ngoja amaanza kupima kaniambia sawa. So results imetoka. Kaniambia bas, hata imefanya vizuri, imeonesha negative. Ulitoa memba yangu. Ndio uende fly out. Tulikuwa umeenda kwa na boyfriend huko umeenda kazi. Niko kazi yangu na No making sense. Kwanza hii conversation inaenda wapi? Unajua? Imetoka. Imetoka wapi na tumekuwa tu sawa umetoka kwa apologize. Unajua? Propose. Is the same day me propose. Is the same day me propose. The same day. He, nika, sasa nikaanza kushtuka. Anambia, simama. Anambia mimi kuna pali naenda, nataka kwa na church. Nifungulia mlango niende. Yali nishika, ali nishika, ziyo huda, alikuwa menibaya, ali nishika dika, raruka hapa, nakumbuka. Mm. Ali nivuta nayo mpaka kwa bedroom. Naka nitusha kwa bed. Vile, niko na divi hatu, si niko full ni mevaa. Natoka. Eh yes, ni mtumbile tu tumeingira sikutoa viatu. Kwa nilikuwa na jua si nikutest tu nitoke niende. Na kwambia Lydia nilipigwa. Si nilipigwa, aliniambia nipatie simu. Kanambia mbona unataka simu yangu? What phone au jeni tisha simu yangu? Mbona ni leo? Naambia no, I want that phone. 
Mba simu yangu na eskupi. Kitu ya kwanza nilisikia nilisikia bari tu. Masikio yangu. Hiyo silapa di sita isa hao. Sitei pigua kofi mbaya hivo. Hali <laughs> nipiga niko we. Mimi mimi umegonga. Mimi. Haja. Never. Mm. Ata hile ya kunisikuma titoka hapa. Mm. Hakuna. Hali yeah, nipiga kofi niko. Kumuangalia macho zake ni red, ametoka veins, nini, ana sweat, ametuwa hali sasa sweta hili. Sia likuwa mevala hile koti, mm. katoa kabaki na tisho. Nakuwa napanda kuwa jeans, tisho, na yu, nini ya, yes. eh, alafu sasa shati na kiatu ina match. Mm. Eh, I had invested, we? Kuva, we? Luku. Nilifunza luku, unasema nini? Ju, nilili, used to come and pick me, nikitoka job, na shanga sasa ya mevala nini yake. Na kasirika kina mpeleka di tunabai. Hmm. Jana katoa kakapo Akaniambia ni pesimu Eh, nkamambia pana Anipiga Nkamambia na nipiga jesimu yangu Makosa ni gani Sume unikunta kupima pregnancy No mwona hakuna Why you beating me up Anambia sisa na badu Nita kupiga mbaka ni kuwe na nijuwe Tupatwe milimbili ya bandani Suicide before so sa hapo ndo nikajua anything can happen. As long as nisha tuma notifications watu wanajua of where I am and what is happening. They are going to come to my rescue. Mind you place tunaishi, tuko nyum floor chini, mwisho. Mm. Please hata ukitana no one can hear you. Hata ufanye nini mtu wezi kusikia. Tezo nimepele kwa bedroom, please ni window ni moja na nifale kadogo. There's no way I can find help. Nika ambia mungu. Sasa hapa, mi nilikuwa niende kanisa leo. Sasa nitaka ni kufe siku ni kwa nafaa kwenda kanisa. And I, I just did a short prayer and come here. God, mimi, if it's time, it's time. But I was not ready to die like this. Dying for this love is not even worth. Haka ni piga. Sasa mimi ningo wanyuele, mimi ni vuta. And you know how ages uki umeshukwa zina kuanga uchungu. Nime toka salo niyo siku. Vuta, nyuele zili toka. I think I sent you the photo. On our chats. Mm, on our chats. I mean, even just kucha. I mean, I penda kucha refu. Even just now, just acrylic. How painful they are. On the same days, the same days, the same days. Because when Jika's not talking, I'm not man. And I was just bleeding everywhere. Also, I'm a full radius. You only match. Oh, his handprints too. I'm a jackal. So I'm going to be young. And then I can't pick up. I'll go and pick up. I'll go and young. For one minute, I'm not breathing. Alafu na niachilia. Niambia unasikia vile kukufa ina, ina sound. Ana niekea magoti. This part and the way it's heavy. Mtu ana kwa shingo. Uwezi yada meza mate. Nilikuwa naona grey naona stars. Yani alinipiga vita karibu 45 minutes. Non-stop. And you imagine how big ya mwano memkwande ya kinipiga. Yako na nguvukai wate. He, nikambia God sasa I think it's time I'm going to die. Akatoka akaenda sitting. Nikajua mendia kisu. Kanambia leo tunakufa wote. Tila yu give me the phone number. Nikamambia sawa simu ndo nataka. Kachukua simu nikafungua nikampea. Akaenda kaka sitting. So me I'm left in the bed na lia. Nifura macho. So yote nifura ni mingolo nywele. Nasikia vibaya. As in everything is just. My heart is beating. Ni meraruli wanguo. And I was like, I was like, aki mama angu wa sipige yu simu saizi. Juu ange juwa, tume communicate na mtu. Unajua? So, mimi, niko hapo nimeka. Kakuja haka nirushia simu, wakana mbea shika. Kama mbeo mepata anything. Clearly, me, I never cheated on him. I never cheated on him. Hata, yote yu tuligeta, hata inasikia, meleta dema wa nini. Siku wai. Nilikuwa tu nakana sema he's going to change. But where? This man don't change. We don't change. So, uh, nika mbembeleza, nika mwambia, si ume, tume solve issue, umeona hakuna kitu mpata kwa simu. There's nothing going on. Na si relax sasa, me I'm not cheating on you. There's nothing going on. Haka naimbia ni sawa. But, tumalize hii kesi, when are you giving me a child? Nika mwambia tu kitaka saa hii, a will. Because now, I was desperate for anything. Nambia, it's okay, but make sure very soon mtoto waku, wakuje. How will I check him na kubali kufumwa mlango ni toke? So, ilikuwa kitu 8, 8, 9 usiku sasa. 
juu drama yote imekuwa from 6 mm. paka saa 9 mm. nikamwambia sasa si relax sasa nikatoa hadi viatu nika get comfortable mm. oh, i feel ya mimi niko sawa mm. akaniuliza utakula nini nikamwambia no mimi niko sawa nikwa si nikwa nimekula na tumekunywa coffee tao sorry nimekunywa coffee tao tamu okay kasema ni sawa so ndio kwenda church nikamwambia eh anambia how much are your nails nimeambia the nails are 4500 and tole 1 2 3 4 5 cash kani kia kwa kani ambia chukui yonye kutengeneza kucha kutengeneza kesho na nyuele ambia nyuele was like 4 na everything pamoja mm. nko meshukatu na mo beds too akani kia do hapo i think kani kia 10 or something kani ambia go fix your hair and nails kesho ambia it's okay chata nizeke kwa room nitaenda ke just to make him feel sina tana haja na nini yake am mm. um, okay so nikachukua simu nikana saa kuna notifications na kijiwa na napigia na pigia nikamwambia place niko and where what is happening so nilikuwa naingia whatsapp na record voice note akiongea na send na send na send so si ame get comfortable ame catch ni nimeshahadi tv nikamwambia mimi want to go to church so ni drop na sijui yani i think just god does his things in a crazy way haoni vile amenipiga na kauso na alikubali nitoke kwa hiyo nyumba Una get? Mm. I think pia alikuwa confused. The new fake talk of the man. Na umto eh eh I think he was also confused. Plus I feel like cuz my mom told me nikimpigia story alikuwa anambia that time she was really praying for me. So you got to. Ni god. Ndona sema yeye hey, mambo ya god wacha tu. So nikam convince nipeleke church basi. Anambia no. Uba ni how much? Nikamwambia I think 1000 or something. Kwenda na irudi akaniambia chukua 3k enda na uba so akanipa hivyo akinikaenda kuchukua key akaniambia pana usitoke acha i'll drop you off because ah even better ningekata ange vitenge you eh. just want to go by what he says so si nikakubali eh nikamwambia let's go so akaniambia let me drop you off on church mm. nika nikakubali mm. Tukatoka, siya kanambia vaa sweta, ya kavaa sweta pia. Vile niko tu, hivyo ndo nilitoka. Na nyuili zime hang, zime toka, niliva tu hujo. Mm. Eni nika sema, kwani haoni vile naka, vile ameni umiza. Mm. Katoka, kaenda kani drop hadi kwa church, kwa gate. So kwa njia tukena church, tuko tu story ya kawaida. Na by the way, eh, ile shamba, ile bills, job kukwaje, eh, how much sales are we doing? Tuko tu story za any normal, tumerudi like how things should be and uh tumefika church nika mwambia instead of kupaka ndani na service inaisha one si upak tu hapa nje ni ngoje haita take time mbona unasema hivyo staki a feel ni kama namwambia aende ati nitakuja mm mbona si pak ndani juu nikwa jua kiingia ndani i won't be able kuongea na watu niwaambie what has happened okay. so nikamwambia pak nje nje ya gate ya church Na ye na ujinga haki ya kakubali. Kaka hapo nje. So kuka nje vile mi lingia kwa geti ya church tu hivi. Lingia ni lingia. I broke down like. I can imagine. Siku mbuki kaka kuna siku nmoa ilia kayo. I cried. I cried and I told God. Yani me I'm just here serving you and you can allow all this to happen to me. So you call someone that time. Sasa si already mom is notified. So nika ingia straight, nika, ule asha nilipata wa kwanza, nika mwambia pasi ya kwa. Nika mwambia pasi ya kwa kwa ofisi. It was just a few minutes ya inge kwa service sasa. So vile ni mengia pondani ya chati sasa ni kupiga simu mbio. Mm-hmm. Na pigia mamu, uko, 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 uko. Wanaambia in fact hata tuliko kwa piki piki tunakuja, wamekuja sasa ina sister ake. So walikuwa na bike kuende wachukwe land cruiser, wakamu wanye chukwe. Mm-hmm. So vile... Niko hapo hizo moments na wangoja mama mekuja mepita wa mingia church mm. kwa gate. And imagine he, this guy didn't see my mom and the sister wakingia. Mm. Ni mungu, haku waona. Because mama nanembia he tried to peep through vile mtu tuu wangalia kaona. Alikuwa meralisha kiti ya gari ya mekambuju ya stere. So haku muona kapsa. So mama wangingia na, nikato, na land cruiser ikakamu. Mm. And uh, can you imagine all this happening? He didn't see nothing. Hakuona anything. 
mi nimechukuliwa na land cruiser na gari yangu yangu imetoka na tumetoka na mamu mtu sasa tumeenda kuandikisha statement mm-hmm. kanda tuka report statement na nikapelekwa sasa hosi ku kwa juu hizo wounds and stuff mm-hmm. then he was called he didn't pick up mm-hmm. akakuwa samo ndaende hakuenda nikapigiwa huko station nikaambiwa kam utuambie vile nataka tufanye na yeye juu ha respond nataka tufanye nini na yeye nikamwambia mama mimi sitaki mambo mengi muachane tu na yeye as in he he won't see me i won't see him mm. inajua mm. i still had that sympathy pia mm. nasema he's already taken me through a lot so ni mimi nafanya je avoidishe kukaa karibu na yeye mm. nikamwambia acha nini tu na hiyo case but atumiwe this training order basi nikaribie all my people la manini Hey the guy kwa simu simu. Sasa si imefika kitu 3 AM mm. ndo ameamka. Ni call uko. Sishiki. Uko anatumia messages. Kwani uko wapi na niko hapa nje ya chat na kuongoja. Nikamwambia mimi I already went. What you did to me you expected me bado nika hapo. Sasa hapo ndo ile hit. He went back to the house. So anaenda I think anda alipotea for some time. Mm. Mm. Cuz hakuwa anaonekana na Jones alikuwa anaenda mani nini nini. Mm and that is how i left that relationship like but he still kept on haunting me anakuja kwetu ananiambia kwa sababu anajua anapenda sister yangu sana huyo ndo ataua jua anajua sister yangu ni roho yangu ananiambia it's either me or you yani nikienda church anakuja nataka disrupt kanisa mzima akione alikuwa anaonekana live karibu na church police wanaitwa akishikwa anawahonga anatoka mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That's how most people oh, mm, die or be, lose their lives, lives because of money. Imagine. Mtu kama wao mbona una unakubali kuhongeza life ya mtu kwa ajili ya money? Ndio, I think. Unajua wanamwachilia. Akiachiliwa leo kesho tena ameshow up church. Kesho tena ameshow up church. Kesho eh. So alikuwa na show up hiyo church akapata some asha guy. Alikuwa na lipo cha rent. Uchali ana ni ana ni seti. Anamwambia Sandra amekuja church leo. Hai. Nikiwa church na kaa hivi naona gari yake kwa parking. Yaani nilikuwa na hadi ilibidi niache kwenda church Lydia. Mm, I stopped so many things then we had common friends. Singenda the normal salon I used to go singenda the place I used to make my nails. Yaani juu he knew what was revolving around me. Mm-hmm. Eh, hey, and my sis naenda, unajua. So I had to stop like everything. Places nilikuwa naenda ndi cut ndi cut ndi cut kabisa that's how i managed to cook sasa and live a normal life but it will take like a whole year ndo niweze ku kukaa normal as in vile mtu anaweza toka uende tao rudi nilikuwa nikionekana tu hivi hata around home alikuwa amepata wasi around kwa mama yangu nikionekana tu nimekuja kuona kutembelea mama calls ani text ananiambia ni mambo uko area nimeenda kuona mama yako cuz that's where he knew je muonesha kwangu anatokelezea home out of nowhere anapigia dima bestie zake wa MP anawaambia wanipigia ni bembeleze ni rudi to the relationship he's a well uh, he's a very well financed guy mm, as in not really ni ile tu anajulikana in the circle around him mm, mm. Mm. so alikuwa anatumia watu kunipigia wana niangelesha hati ni and i think it was time it was time nika decide enough is enough and me i'm going amjai kutana mahali tumekutana kwa events sina kwambia watu ni seti hadi wa leo hadi wa leo naenda na place nafika hivi napata na yeye but aku uh, aku approach he does he has the audacity and would die yani i think i really nearly grow close za kujitetea and when i see him i know this is trouble i just leave cuz kuna events mingi nienda na mpata and i can't stay ama ni different areas cuz most of the time events ni menda tunapata na yeye VIP ama VIP hata kama ko VIP he'll find a way how he get to me and get so mm. but saizi imeshuka shuka si the anger he had before si kama yeye kwa saizi of course he has other distractions eh iko so. iko but hizi compare na cuz before angekuja ni sumbue sita enjoy akinipata na besties zangu anasumbua yani 
he's like um, at he wants me to come a chance by force yani her feeling kama anaweza muacha ending such a relationship especially where uh, friends families involved in a kuanga tough and now kwanza the last what you had to endure the last minute mm. that was guy i that don't know crazy. no you know that's how literally people lose their lives unasikia mtu aliuliwa mama aliuana and it got to a point even the family they used to call me ati mbona hau mbona hau paid kijana yetu a chance mbona umpay chance hawajui ukiwaambia wanaona kama mimi ndo nawaekelea na mwekelea unajua and i said it's about me mm I want to die for mm, love. Mm. Cannot die for love. And I think that's what most women should learn. Should you should not eh. die for love. Love is peaceful, love Very. is kind. Mm. And I commend you for having the that at least that courage to live. Unajua watu wengi wanangia courage ya kutoka. And kama hivyo venye. It is very hard because mimi nilitoka sije for like 2 months. Natoka nikirudi, nitoka nikirudi. The back and forth. It is I won't say it's easy. It's not easy. It's not. But I think hey, I love you your tabia ya kama venye huyo anko yake ni anko ama ni anako ati ati ni kuvumiliana. Watu vumiliana. No, no. Time za kuvumiliana ziliisha. Utavumiliana alafu uliwe and then what are you vumiliating? Yeah, I'm not even ready for that. Oh god. And maybe someone who is going through the same right now who mm. is going through that situation yeah physical abuse emotional abuse uh mental abuse what would you tell them i think it all goes down to you as an individual because livia mimi nilikuwa naambiwa with my friends uoni ni makosa whether we don't see it mm mm-hmm. hata sai tu mtu atakwambia pana but he will change i love him they if someone doesn't want to change on their own will hata umuombe miaka ngapi it can't so it's upon us as in madam as in choose what what you feel you're worth that because me hata nikika hivi chini size i feel like i don't feel like a man should disrespect me size even verbally hata ile kuni nilia tu sauti is not even enough to keep me i will leave unajua small things then you see we ignore it tunasema ah ameniambia sikaipo uh, maybe apendi hakuna si cha apendi this men know what they are doing mm-hmm. men Wanaju, they, they know, know what they, they are know, doing and they know wamekupima to a level they know you can withstand mm. it's like a tabia in a grow in a grow in a grow and i would blame myself i blame myself i would even blame the women because sisi ndo huacha kwa tabia kana grow una muonyesha unaweza tolerate una tolerate ama ya kwanza hujafanya kitu ati unasema cha zipile ndio kuna nga cha kupile the most na pile zitakuoverpower utashindwa kujitetea and that's how i ended up kukaiza mizizi zote like it was a full year and being disrespected i'm so sorry mm-hmm. but look at you right now beautiful so, thriving mm. mtu atakao angalia hivi anasema ulishanyongolewa nywele nilingolewa hadi nikanyongolewa nywele kamea tena ilibidi <laughs> ilibidi because i know hard patches like hapa sina hapa sina and you imagine how crazy in a car mm, mm, mm. mm. i'm so sorry and maybe for those watching comment down below and tell us what you have learned from today's episode because i think coming out from an abusive relationship kwanza enye iko all round mm. i think the worst enye iko all round both physical, physical mental, mental emotional social unajua kuna ndenge hapo kukosana na marafiki zako wengi because i was under i lost so many friends you lost, I lost mm. so many. such a such a relationship ina kukostingi so many things na hata unaenda hapo hata kukosana na mama yako mama yako anaona ni kama wewe mechizi and also lost myself in the whole yeah, yeah. losing yourself i lost and it was the it is the worst thing you can ever do like losing yourself i was not even productive that whole year do me consider our relationship mm, and then i felt like i was just filling his cup and mine is being emptied yani ime overflow hadi naona vile mtu inamisha itwe maji hakuna yenye za toka until it ilinisumbua now moving on to another relationship becomes really hard because of the fears. i have nothing to give unajua mm. i think i I feel like I've given out everything and I'm really cautious with the people that I meet. Like even if they're doing something good na naikiwa kitumbaya, nikolea. Unaomba fanya kama 
unajua kama labda na unaona kana na ku manipulate eh na feel eh no because i used to meet people msa na kuambia they are serious and i think i lost good men in that mm. new case because i felt like i'm still giving wako myself time wako tu hatakupata mm. time you didn't lose mm. atakuja tu mwenye ni wako atakupata na ataji leta na, na uta feel mm. conscience yako iko clear to accommodate eh. to accommodate him mm. but you're a perfect example that someone can come out of any situation mm. still okay. and still start over again and again mm. and and strongly then mm. then now not, you're not starting no you're not starting over empty you're starting over with lessons mm. that will help you make better decisions, decisions. in life again so we i'm i'm so sorry for what you went through okay. we commend you for coming out and even Thank sharing you. this story no jo twengi they take the shame of mm. the story rather than the lessons unaogopa ai nikiambia watu ati mimi nilikaa nyumba moja na hata watu nikiwaambia story wananiambianga ai Ulikuwa sawa. Wewe na vile una karo jumo na umeanza ku Yo nili. No people start shaming and that is why mm. we are making a difference here. We are airing these stories to know to to tell people that it's happening even it if does. you don't want to talk about it. I hope you can learn something from, from. it. Na ujue you can change your story. Mm. Penye umewekwa saa hii penye hiyo relationship imekusukuma kwa ukuta. Imagine unaweza mwa ku free yourself. Vizuri sana. Vizuri mm. sana. It's just that Don't take less. I will mm. tell you don't take less. Don't say at all. Don't say for less and you're the prize. You are the prize. Mm. Cuz size it tukikuzika we will forget. Yeah. Few days talk so how which I later move on with someone else and they'll act like nothing happened. You know. Then, then the people who genuinely love you like your mom. But now like, they will lose you over someone who Cuz I'm thinking like I'd ning ning lose all my dreams. You are impacting the world in and you see like right now i mean like everything to my mom mm. and i can't imagine akikukosa akinikosa kama siku inishanga na nipige mbona unitafuti you know and you feel so nice when you have people around you because the people nice. who think about you and i think people should be checking up on others on our sisters peer because we are here in relationships to now post here what you guys need to see only the happy part but Kuna people really, are going really through issues. crazy things mm. in relationships watu wanapigana kwa manyumba watu wana but tukitoka huko nje for the grams we are nice. posting eh we are posting so that you can see mm. and that is where mostly people are going wrong mm. by thinking that at oh mimi niko at una una admire another couple, couple that is couple on, on but they're not showing sure you the real work the real stuff that and they know they are bad relationship mm. and that's why me i said i will not i, I don't take couple goals at niko na when i'm to work up and oh i wish to have that yeah, mm. the work it's true the real work that it takes Thanks. for Thanks. you to stand mkiwa wawili mahali in public and nowadays people are faking a lot Thank you so much Sandra. Mm-hmm. No just unaweza kwa tuongee sana. sana. <laughs> But thank you so much for sharing your story. We really mm-hmm. do appreciate you even okay. the courage to speak to about speak it about because it. I definitely know it will impact a life out there. Something. So guys we've come to the end of the epi- episode and I hope you when you watch this you learn something or something awaits in your mind and you know you're able to tell a situation as it is. Don't flower a relationship don't over over shadow a relationship for what it is if it's not working out it's not working out if someone is abusive to you they will not wake up tomorrow and change if someone is cheating on you once twice mm. that is who they are na ukiona red flags tafadhali take red flags as they are a story kusema ni pink ni burgundy you want to like ah hata change or oh, maybe nikifanya hivi venye nataka nifanye nikifanya vya nataka because Sandra is an example she literally went with everything that this guy said una accommodate hata another woman in your relationship muna share a bed but still it's not enough for this person it's never enough mtu tu mtu tu psycho ni psycho just take the small dignity and your own self respect and yemebaki mm. tembea omba mungu kesho you'll meet another person and then nowadays there is no shame in being alone there's no, no shame, shame in fact, being single even go peaceful yeah but wengi wanaogopa kuwa single i mean your group lead here yeah? mm. i am not even scared sasa utaogopa kuwa single uende uliwe mama watu wako wanakupenda 
Waishingi kule sasa alienda at because of someone we just met and if you have a story out there that you can share with us on this channel please don't feel uh, ashamed to reach out to me uh, on my email address that is on the screen ama dm me on my instagram Tupange, you come and share your story because we need to air more of these kind of stories so that we can encourage those people who are in situations that they think they cannot come out of and we continue inspiring and changing lives. Don't forget on um, today's uh, shoot location is courtesy of Edmo Suits. It's a one beautiful one bedroom apartment in Westlands. If you'd like such a, a house for Airbnb or a quarantine space, don't uh, just contact them on the uh, email on the screen ama the uh, phone number on the screen na watakutafutia nyumba poa from studio apartments one bedroom two bedroom three bedroom up to four bedrooms apartment wako na zote fully furnished fully serviced and until next time bye